Hello everybody, I'm Krasia Tasiu um, and today we'll talk about Jupiter because any moment on the 9th of August, Jupiter is becoming stationary. He will become stationary for uh, one week until 16th of August and then he becomes a retrograde and this is a very good news actually. All this is happening in the sign of Sidereal Scorpio and on the uh, 9th of August he's turning stationary where for one week he will be stationary in the 20th degrees of sidereal Scorpio. Now the, these particular degrees are associated with knowledge, uh, power, uh, people who have these uh, degrees on a key position like on the ascendant or with the moon or on mid heaven typically are people who are very knowledgeable and who have power, who have good positions in the society. So these are very important degrees because they are ruled by Jupiter himself, the term of Jupiter. So he is becoming stationary there. But what is even more interesting is that while he is turning um, uh, from retrograde to direct for quite some time already, uh, Jupiter was retrograde and as you can see, uh, he is blessing uh, on personal level or on mundane level was limited like most probably n almost no person on earth would say i was completely happy or i was um or my my soul was uh, singing happy uh, joyful this is because the most important planet that is associated with uh, the the most powerful blessing and gains was retrograde but not only this in Scorpio, I have separate video on this, you can see it, but in Scorpio, Jupiter is um, quite different, like his nature is, is very interesting. Now, he is not bad in Scorpio, and Jupiter can never be bad, because he is in his own triplicity, uh, because he's ruling the sign of Pisces. So Jupiter is having own dignities in Scorpio, so he is in own triplicity. But in this particular a case what is happening he's turning direct before the before that from 9 to the 16th of august he will be uh, stationary like from our perspective he will be like not moving actually this is only uh, illusionary because the planets never stop they never hide in the rays of the sun of the sun this is only from our perspective from our illusionary perspective so what is happening is that Jupiter is also receiving the trine of all these planets in sidereal cancer. So we have Mercury who, who at that very moment is becoming visible is, is as a morning star. We have the invisible Venus, the invisible Mars and the Sun at that particular moment and they all form trine, harmonious aspect to Jupiter and this is a very very interesting and um, certainly um, aspect in the sky that will result in events in a very positive way because this is a trying harmonious aspect now for quite some time we have been witnessing the markets down the economy just everything was down uh, everything especially after the eclipses which were happening on the different axis on the axis of sagittarius gemini but still this axis of course is influencing jupiter because it's happening in his own sign so let's see again this complex um Thing which is happening on the sky. Now Jupiter is becoming stationary and is turning direct. With this already we will start feeling his presence again. But how? Now uh, while Jupiter is in Scorpio, Pluto is in Sagittarius. Now Jupiter is in the sign of, the, of Pluto, Pluto is in the sign of Jupiter, and with this, they form mutual reception. It's like a very deep aspect. Also, Saturn retrograde and Pluto retrograde and Ketu are in the sign of Sagittarius, which is naturally, of course, ruled by Jupiter. And with this, they will keep uh, limiting the complete blessing of Jupiter. So we will again 
feel Jupiter in this watery way, like very deeply influencing our philosophical belief system, values, religious. Um, but once again, this is not the very typical joyful Jupiter that we would know if he would be in, uh, in Sagittarius or if you want in Leo because of this very complex configuration uh, with Saturn and Pluto who influence Jupiter very much like in an aspect. And with this, his nature is more secretive, not directly um, influencing us very introvert if you want this is how this will influence us but because there is a terrain um, in the sky from mercury who very much uh, influences uh, money markets communication to a degree temporary this will influ influence for good uh, the markets but this will be temporary because we still see um, that Jupiter is like um, limited by Saturn and Pluto stationary, uh, excuse me, retrograde and Keto in his own sign. So there will be a trine and a trine between uh, Mercury, Venus, uh, the Sun and Mars. To, to Jupiter is, is quite powerful and it is very much about knowledge, about spirituality, about uh, especially about knowledge and belief system because it's happening in the sign of cancer it's about mercy it's about people it's about the nations it's not so much about the rulership it will be so that we'll see a lot of activity among people like this would be this would result in in some good um events like people will uh start moving maybe uh, they will start um uplifting their voices um, against governments and, um, and rulership, which is corrupted. So this is what we're going to see. Like finally people will start moving, will start doing something. Uh, and even though Jupiter is very deep, they will start questioning their belief system again. Like we had this when Jupiter entered a Scorpio. Um, it will be a lot about knowledge, new knowledge, new truths, new facts can come into, um, into reality. Like we'll find out things related to politics and to rulers, which we may not like, but also people, because all this is about people and nations. People will, some will already be able to, to voice to their concerns, to, to make, um, to create events and meetings against government. So this is, in this sense, this is kind of activated point on mundane level. But interestingly, on um, personal level, it will be again, knowledge, questioning belief system, uh, receiving new knowledge, uh, studies, uh, very deeply um, and on personal level this will influence the, the consciousness because we are all one it's like we are all um, we live in a collective um, universe so this is like another step in the, uh, in the awakening uh, of all of us of all people on earth so this is very interesting thing now how this will influence people on um, each one of us. Now, first of all, um, we cannot expect the markets to start moving very much. First, because of the eclipses which happened very recently. And secondly, because Venus is not allowing this yet. People are still very careful when it comes to investment. So markets will not be able really to, um, to show positive development only to a degree and only temporary because Venus is invisible and in cancer and with this she's really not very supportive in terms of economy and markets. Temporary movement because of Mercury we, we may have but I don't expect this will bring a drastic change on the market prices um, and still on personal level. Now on personal level especially interestingly People who have Scorpio ascendants will experience this 
Jupiter becoming direct, especially interestingly, interesting will be the period from 9th of August until 16th of August. And after that, he turns direct. And this will be very, very positive. And they will have already bl the blessing of, of Jupiter. And their things, their, their, their matters, their routine life will start moving a bit in a bit better and faster pace. Now, um, certainly, people who have cancer rising uh, because of this trine, cancer on midheaven, you also feel this, but also already people with cancer ascendants experience this uh, uh, conjunction happening, and it will be very good in terms of knowledge. They will have very good events associated to communication, to media work, travel, business abroad. But as I said, we can't expect really high financial profits from our businesses and deeds because Venus is invisible and to a degree she's helpful because she is uh, not that badly placed in cancer, but still she's limited when it comes to finances. She, she is more influencing the love life of people on, on a very deep emotional level because this is what she's when she's invisible and when she's in cancer. So, but let's talk more about Jupiter. Now, yes, uh, people who have a, a cancer rising, cancer meet heaven, already feel this with the trine of Jupiter, with this complex um, aspect. They will certainly experience better time in their business, like movement, things are happening in more intense way. Um, also, uh, in, in terms of uh, communication, media work, negotiations, all this will happen now easy, easier and in a better way. And of course, Scorpio rising, Taurus ascendance as well, people are Taurus meet heaven, uh, Capricorn ascendant also will have quite some movement, especially um, in their relationships if Cancer is on the, on the ascendant and uh, Capricornius is on, the, on their descendants. Yes, this will have very interesting emotional impact on the personal lives of people. People who have Pisces ascendants will also have better time now because for quite some time they have been experiencing the uh, square of Saturn. But, but now when Jupiter is moving and Jupiter is ruling their ascendant, they will certainly also feel better. They will feel that there is a movement in their, uh, in their work, in their, uh, in their um, uh, career places, in their private life. So, so on many different ways we we'll experience this change of uh, movement of Jupiter, but also, of course, together with all these planets which are right now in Cancer. And this is the, the Mercury in the heliacal phase, who is very important for the trade, for the business, for the communication. And this is exactly how we'll benefit from this. Now, to, to do uh, media work, to share knowledge, to teach, to study, all this will be supported. And also by Jupiter, because Jupiter is in the degrees of knowledge in Scorpio. So knowledge-wise, uh, spiritually, also in terms of collective awakening, this will play a very good, very important role. And you will see, uh, especially after the 16th, when Jupiter becomes direct will start feeling life will start moving again a bit back to normal not completely but once jupiter moves in november uh, in his own sign things will change on again and on another level but we will talk about this i will give special attention on this so this is a blessing uh yes on a deeper level on a very interesting very philosophical very psychological very introvert level um, and there will be movement in many areas, like we said. So this will be for good and it will be blessing. And finally, certainly finally, because um, Jupiter is the most beneficial planet. He was in the ancient uh, Babylonian um, mythology. And Marduk is the ruler, the divinity who rules Jupiter. But Marduk also is the one who participated in the creation of, of the humanity and he's the one who saved us and who defeated the dragon Tiamat. So in this sense, uh, Jupiter is the best friend, you know, the most wonderful planet which is helping and which, is, which loves people and which gives us 
denotes the best ever blessing. So for sure, this will be good, finally. So with this, I'm completing my video. Your comments are very welcome. Uh, thank you.